Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be going over how to add a disintegration, pixelation, starburst type of effect to an image. Um, and to start off, you're going to want a, an image like so, obviously with a person or an uh, some type of, of, of object for you to uh, actually add the effect to. And then you're going to want to start off by creating a new layer. And that is by selecting layer and then new layer. And then uh, in your menu, in your layers menu, which if it's not open, uh, you can find in Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and then Layers, <clears throat> you should see it there. And then after that, you want to go back, you want to go to your original background layer and uh, probably zoom in a bit. Uh, and then you want to, if you would do, if you prefer to do it this way, I do, there are several other options you could follow. And that is select the Paths tool and then begin to outline the object. Um, which I will pause the video and I'll resume and uh, you guys will be able to to see the image cut out all right guys so now that I have the entire uh, uh, now that I have the girl completely uh, surrounded with marching ants uh, you what you want to do is you're gonna click select and then you're gonna click it's gonna uh, you're gonna click from path and then um, oh well, that's a strange little that was a strange little selection right there. Anyways, <clears throat> um, and then you're going to select uh, edit and then copy. And then you're going to go to your new layer and then you're going to select uh, edit and paste. Now, then uh, and then you can, you know, drop your selection, uh, take your now new layer and then post it on... All right, whoops. Let's see here. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Anyways, now you can take your new layer and then, or you'll have your new copied image on your uh, new layer. And then, uh, as you can see, two of them, except for that slight little uh, error right there. But hey, whatever, move on. Whoop, put that back in place. Okay, now on to the next part of the uh, the next part of the process. What you're going to do now is you want to create a, another new layer, <clears throat> and then you're going to want to go to filters, uh, render, clouds, and uh, plasma, and then you'll see all these colorful little this colorful little preview. And then originally it will have a zero as the random speed is what you'll see. Uh, and then you'll have a turbulence set to zero. I cranked the turbulence all the way up to 7.0 and I put this uh, honestly at an incredibly high speed just so that I could get it uh, spread of, or more compacted yet just just filled with more colors and, 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 and circles and all that plays a part later on. <clears throat> so then you're just going to press OK. And you're going to bring it and it'll take a while and then it'll render the new layer. <clears throat> now. Now you can just uh, click the little eye uh, option right here, and uh, that will remove the visibility. And then you're going to want to go uh, back to your newly created layer, and then select Filter, uh, Map, and Displace. Now is where you uh, you'll see the, the the image actually you'll actually be able to 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 use the disintegration effect and see it in place. And then uh, that layer you created earlier that you no longer ha uh, can see is what is going to be the base for the displacement, <clears throat> which originally you'll have uh, zero and zero, I believe, on the X and Y displacements. Uh, it, this is up to you. This is where your own creativity and artistic trait comes in. Uh, I set my displacements to negatives. Well, actually found it best at around negative 100 in my Y displacement and uh, 0 to negative 10 on my X displacement. However, um, it, it's, all, it's all up to honestly what you enjoy. And then leave Cartesian and wrap uh, the same and press OK. And then what I, what I did again was, uh, once again, my own preference was I duplicated the layer. And that was to to add the uh, the effect again to the second layer and expand it even more. So once again, uh, map 
and then uh, displace and then spread apart and then in this part you can edit it change it how you want I mean you know just sort of move it around however you feel it is best in this case I'll use 80 again okay and then uh, that looks alright looked a lot better earlier when I wasn't making a video but <clears throat> Then you have a completely smeared out object. From here is when you, you would use the eraser tool. So you get the eraser tool. I recommend using uh, a spread out brush. Um, however, you can use whichever one you want. And uh, I recommend, you know, depending on your image size, it depends which, you know, which brush size you would use. I've been using 80 to 100 so I could get that good spread apart feeling. And then you want to just sort of customize it how you want on both of your layers. So I have the layer copy, which I, you know, am going to erase a good majority of just to leave a few effects left. And then I have my original layer copy, which I'm using to go around, you know, the, the white areas and all that that actually don't need to be disintegrating. And erasing extra parts. All right, and then on the layer copy, I'm actually going to add a Gaussian blur of about 2.0 on the horizontal and vertical. Eh, that may have been a bit much. Okay. Now <clears throat> is when you can change in that now uh, you just want to go to the layers and then you want to if you want change the mode and uh, I think so far that uh, from my experience uh, but I guess it would depend you know uh, on which colors you were using and whatnot I think that the addition uh, the addition layer makes the best effect so I add that to both now you can still mess around do a little bit of work do whatever you know you like to it um, but honestly if you want you could probably leave the image how it is it's already somewhat disintegrating it would look a lot better obviously when you put a lot more time into it um, and if you want you can you know throw in some extra lighting effects uh, you know whatever you know you feel helps makes the makes the image look a lot better but for the most part you're pretty much done now you just save the image as a PNG or JPEG um, if you want to actually just take it somewhere and put it up on the net and there you go so I'm just gonna save it right here oh whoops sorry export And you'll see we have the original image. And the new image. So disintegration, no disintegration. There you go. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.